Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Hey, you know, I'm just glad we all back. I'm glad you guys back working. I'm glad we back able to talk to you guys and, and promote all these projects. Yeah. And um, I wonder if this could be like a group, you know, with Haley like really singing and London dancing and Malcolm <laughs> managing. Like, could this be like? That'd be like that be like a group right here. Could, 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 it, could it be done? You you spin know. off. <laughs> That's hey, funny. I, I had to post a spin. You know, whatever keeps keeps me employed. I'm, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> no, yeah. We gotta start hey, keeping promises before we can do that. Oh man, hey, Haley, like, are we gonna see you? Uh, I mean, I, I know like people been there recognize your your talent and and your singing. As well as your your talent on your presence on screen, where are we gonna see you going with the with the with the vocals? Are, are we expecting an album? Any, anything that you're gonna drop eventually soon? Oh wow! Like as me as myself? Yes. yes. I see that. Um, I I bought my first EP last March. It's called Desire and Devotion. Um, I'm getting ready to drop part two in 2024. I haven't told my managers to be really mad at me that I just said that, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. That's that's very, very, very kind. Um, lots more music on the way. I, I want to know about the outfits, all the velour suits and everything. We're at three seasons now. Do we, each of you have like a favorite look that y'all wore through the three seasons? Was it a favorite outfit that y'all y'all wore? I, you know, uh, I, there were several sweaters and coats uh that i would still do so i'm 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 gonna I'm see if anything as as we say if anything falls off the truck uh <laughs> i would definitely you know as soon as they give me the, the green light i'm like yo because i think about this one the, really quickly with the first power series the suits that they had ghost wearing i'm like i know i know he i know he kept some of them suits <laughs> and i'm willing you know i'm even willing to pay for some of the sweaters because you know and they get they already fit so I, I definitely want to get some jackets and a, and a couple pair of, of, of shoes, man. So I like I like the stuff. How, how about you, Malcolm? Yeah, there was some retro Jordan like five. There was a few things that I was like, yeah, but let me get that jacket. There was a uh, there was a Space Jam jacket, I think. That I was <laughs> like, yeah, I need that boy. Like that was hard. Like, there's a few pieces that I've been plotting on that I'm like, yeah, I need that. But they, you know, they they pretty they pretty harsh on what they let us take. No. <laughs> so, and now it's been three seasons, and y'all built relationships on and off screen. Like, how how different is it when you know when when you have when it's you know you London and Malcolm or or London and, and Haley and y'all and y'all you know, going over your scenes or, or performing on screen, is it any different than season one now that you guys have built even stronger bonds and relationships from working together over these seasons? I'm going to go ahead and bully everybody on this one. I miss y'all, man. I'm going to keep saying it. Like, the only thing that's changed is that that was the few time, one of the few instances in all of the seasons that we were together. <laughs> was the season oh, one. Oh, yeah. It's like we... We don't never be together no more. I don't know what Sasha's problem is, but we gonna have to jump them because about time yeah. away from a family. We started such a beautiful family dynamic together, and he just and this is maybe the brilliance of his of his writing. He they just sectioned us off. You go over there. You go over here. You gonna have problems with him. You gonna have problems with her. Y'all gonna and they kept us away. And hopefully, it's to bring everybody together again. But um, I miss spending the amount of time we once did together. Yeah, I it last season. Well, I'm trying not to give too much away, but got to the point that it was like I knew if I didn't see Makai on set, I was gonna see him after work. Like we would be like we're just constantly going somewhere or doing something, which just makes it like, gosh, the the closer of a relationship. I, I mean, I was super close with Patina before we even were cast in this show because we did a show together before. Canaan. It just really informs the work. It makes it so much easier to just come on set, you know. Um, how different? Okay, oh, I'm listening. How, how different does it feel that this is, you know, appointment television, and that 
people have to tune in every week, figure out what's going next, as opposed to this being on another streaming platform where everything was released at once. You know, how, how do you think that builds more of the audience interaction and, and love for the show that, that they got to be sitting on the, on the edge of their seat waiting until the next episode drop? Even me, you know, as I get the little three sneak peeks they got me, I still have the whole season. I'm still like, now I'm just waiting for the rest, you know. But but how, yeah. how different is that as an actor when you get to have that interaction with audience that's like waiting and trying to guess and trying to predict what's going to happen next? I think if we was on Netflix, we'd be one of the biggest shows on the planet, personally. I think we'd all have movie deals, record deals. If we was on Netflix, if, if Stars' is business model was not contingent, upon streaming and that wasn't their bread and butter and they was just like fuck it let's send it off to whoever oh yeah we go we'd be so we'd be so out of here bro it'd be crazy we wouldn't even be able to talk about these things it'd be game game of nigga thrones we'd be over here <laughs> man straight up straight up that's my opinion though i could be wrong but i also would say before they speak you know like it's a blessing to have the concentrated fan base that we have the dedicated fandom that we have because you don't get that on every show on netflix either because you could be on netflix and don't nobody care right we automatically came into what stars has built and what 50 has built and what courtney has built and what sasha has built which is a a core fan base that's already waiting to see what we got going on and we just so happen to put the ball in the hoop because these these beautiful men and women around me are amazing so that's that's my opinion on it what about y'all that's, uh, it, it, you know, it is, the thing about, you know, doing a TV series is the fact that people invite you, invite you into their home. So it's, it's cool to build like that sort of, uh, relationship with the viewers because they're paying for the, you have to be paying for the subscription and stuff like that. So that says a lot. And I know a lot, of, to be honest with you, I know a lot of friends and family who say they got started because of, Raise the cane and uh, power, and that's that's a lot of love in itself because that's a that's an additional pain, you know. So that's cool that people uh, rock with the show and, and feel connected. Well, happy holidays to y'all all. Thank you for the time. Glad to see y'all back. Glad to see this new season for all these throwback outfits that just like give me reminiscent of you know the eighties and everything else and what what people used to wear. I, I, I love the fashion. I love the performances, and uh, and I, I love the story. You you got your you got your hat and your sweat. You ready for some egg now? You 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 ready for the you ready for the holidays, brother? Talk about yeah, man, yeah. fashion. You got your stuff on. <laughs> hey, I'll just try to match our energy, man. Appreciate y'all time. <laughs>